Hey everyone, this is your man J.O. Panther. For anyone that knows my videos and have seen some of, some of my videos, you know that I have a huge Transformer collection. Now these Transformers that you see here and that you have seen in my videos, these are not the Transformers from my childhood. When I was about 16, 15, 16, I gave the ones that I did have from my childhood to my little brother. Because I really, um, really didn't see myself, um, you know, collecting them anymore. I was more into girls and video games and stuff like that. So, funny thing happened. I went ahead and eventually joined the Navy. I am a Navy and Army vet. But I eventually joined the Navy. And I was stationed in Port Wainimi, California, which is a Navy base. And I went to a mall that was in town. Went to a little Asian shop they had in there that sold ninja swords, toys, and other Asian items and curios. And I saw this one item that I just had to get. It was a robot, Japanese robot. It wasn't a Transformer. It wasn't a Hasbro or nothing like that. It was a you know Japanese robot. And it was only 10 bucks, but it just looked so smooth. And I remember thinking, man, do I really want to get this? Do I really want to put this in my barracks room? Because I was worried about when I bring the ladies to the barracks, if they see that, where they think, oh, this dude's immature. We ain't mess with this fool. But I said, you know what? I don't care. I like how this robot looks. So I went ahead and got the robot, um, brought it home, and it actually wound up being a great conversation piece for the ladies that came. The women that I bring, did bring back to the barracks, they saw it, and they was like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of smooth. And it wound up being a great you know, conversation piece. But anyway, so that ignited my transformer fever. After that, I started collecting them again, and I'm where I'm at now with probably about four to 5,000 of them. But anyway, but this is one of my favorite ones from my collection because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looked when I bought it, and here we go. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty nice looking robot, you know, um... Like I said, it was about 10 bucks when I bought it. It's been through a lot, though. Um, I bought this robot probably back in 1994. It's been through tons of moves with me being in the Navy and the Army, moving around, shipping my stuff. Uh, when I got out, I did a lot of traveling, living in different states and stuff like that. So it's been through a lot. Um, some of the pieces are missing. It had a ninja sword that's missing. Um, also, right here, there was some kind of wings that sprouted out and that's missing. And also one of the um, other smaller robots that merged with it. In my next video, I will show you how it looks broken down. And this is JL Panther. Check out the next video.